guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. I am very, very excited for today's video. I've been wanting to do one of these for a while now. And for today's video, I'm gonna be recreating a celebrity's outfit, although you guys already saw in the title. I don't know why I'm being so cryptic. It's Sophia Richie. I feel like these videos have been trending a lot lately. There's a lot of people like recreating celebrity outfits and stuff, but I feel like we've mainly been seeing like Hailey Bieber, Bella, and Gigi Hadid. And I haven't seen a ton of Sophia Richie. I know that people are probably doing recreating Sophia Richie outfits. I'm not trying to say that I'm the first one. I'm just saying out of the people that I watch, I haven't seen anyone do her yet. So I'm excited to show you guys the outfits that I recreated. I came up with her because Trevor and I just finished rewatching Flip It Like Disick, which like so awkward because halfway through the week where I'm dressing like Sophia Richie, they broke up. So a couple of the references that I made in this video may not make sense. So that's why. But I just thought for me she would be the perfect one to do first just because I really love her style. Her style is very young, cool, girl on the go, which I really love. My style is definitely the more casual streetwear type of vibe, so I felt like a lot of the outfits that I recreated from her I would definitely just go ahead and wear on my own. But honestly I had so much fun doing this. I did it with a little bit of a twist of recreating celebrities outfits plus outfits of the week, so basically I just dressed like her for a whole week and I enjoyed that process so much that I do want to make this a regular series here on my channel. Channel. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do. And also please leave me a comment down below of any other celebrities outfits you guys would like to see me recreate. I do have my next celebrity lined up already, but past that I would love to hear your suggestions. So make sure that you drop a comment below. And also of course, please don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. Like I said, I am going to be making this a regular series on my channel. So if you enjoy this video, you should definitely subscribe. Plus I have a ton more content on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle that I think you'd really enjoy. So I would love it if you would join my little YouTube community. Community, and let's jump into all of the outfits I recreated this week from Sophia Ritchie. Okay, so it's Sunday and Trevor and I are about to go out to dinner. So I'm recreating the first outfit from Sophia Ritchie. The one that I'm recreating is this one when she's out to dinner with Scott. So totally fitting. We're going out to dinner as well. In this one, she just has like a straight across cut black tank top, a pair of like slightly longer but like fitted denim shorts, and then a pair of mules and then a few accessories. So I had like everything in my closet for this look, so it was a really easy one. I have on this tank top from Wild Fable that I got from Target, and then these denim shorts are from Wild Fable as well. They were actually Bermuda length, so they went to about here, but I cut them a little bit shorter so that they matched her outfit a little bit more. Plus, I'm not like a big Bermuda fan, so I wanted it a little bit shorter for my body type. Her hair is straight in here. I have some like leftover curls from yesterday, but her hair does have like a little bit of a bend. So I just like basically brushed out the curls, got them as straight as possible. And then for the rest of the outfit, I don't really have like these white and black mules that she has, but I do have these mules. These are from Public Desire and I think I featured these in my favorite fashion dupes. And I feel like these are just like a good vibe for this outfit. I feel like it's still kind of fits the bill. For the accessories, like I said, she was really minimal. So I saw her wearing a pair of gold hoops. So I'm gonna add that to this outfit. And then she mixed her medals. She did gold hoops with a silver watch, which I do have. I have this one. This is the boyfriend watch from Fossil. So that is the main outfit. And then she added a pair of those like very trendy, like very angular cat eye sunglasses, which I do have. The pair that I have are from Illustiva. And I mean, they fit the bill as far as like the shape and everything goes. So that is my first outfit. Really cute. I think it's definitely like a cute one for dinner. Totally works and I'm really happy with this one because like I said, I pretty much had everything in my closet for it. So that made this one really, really easy. So now I just get to wear this one out to dinner. Okay, so it's currently Monday, and for this next outfit, I decided to go for one of her more comfy outfits. This one is actually like a classic even just for myself. It's basically an oversized t-shirt and a baseball cap, so like how me is that? So obviously I had to do this one, and I'm just heading out to go run errands. I'm just gonna go like Target and Trader Joe's really quick, so I thought that this would be the perfect outfit for it. So for this outfit, I just need a plain oversized t-shirt. I actually, ironically, don't have any so I just turned one of my band tees inside out and that's what I'm gonna go with and then for this one she also just like has a plain gray hat which I do have okay so adding this one in and then she has like a pair of these like black laceless sneakers that are like pretty low 
Unfortunately, I don't have anything like that, and the only like fully black sneakers that I have are these ones from Superga. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go with these. I know that they're not exactly the look, but you know they're close enough for this one. And then it looks like she's got some sort of like brass bracelet or something on one arm. The closest that I have to that is my movement watch in this style. So I'll go ahead and add that in. She also has like a silver bracelet on the other arm. I don't really have any silver bracelets. So I'm just going to skip that part for this outfit. Then she has on a pair of sunglasses. They look like the rimless aviators. All of my aviators have rims. So I'm just going to go with the closest pair. These ones look like they kind of have an amber lens. So the closest ones that I have, again, these are from Movement. And these are the Mavericks. And then for her bag, she's just carrying a satchel. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Rebecca Mingoff. This is the Gabby satchel. It seems pretty close in size to the one that she's using. But here is the look. Just like really easy, perfect kind of like casual look for going out if you just want to be really comfy just like kind of on the go chic um just like kind of you know that cool girl casual kind of style very very effortless so i'm gonna go run my errands in this outfit and i'll see you guys back for tuesday's outfit okay guys so now it's tuesday and for today's outfit i'm gonna be recreating this outfit from sophia richie i already have most of the pieces on right now but in this one she's just got like a cute casual Again, girl on the go outfit. I feel like that's very much her style, just like effortless, cool girl on the go. So for this one, she has a Harley Davidson t-shirt, a cream skirt, some Adidas all-stars, a little bag, and then a few different bangles, and then a few different bracelets, and then a pair of like those round kind of 70s inspired sunglasses. So actually for this one, I owned a lot of similar pieces. So this one was kind of just like perfect. So to start off, I have the Harley Davidson tee. Mine is a little bit more oversized than hers. Mine's from Nasty Gal and it's more meant to be worn as like a t-shirt dress. So I just tied it up in the back to give it a little bit more shape. And then for her, she has hers more tucked in, which is like kind of weird since mine's already tied up in the back, but I'll go ahead and tuck it in just kind of like for the look. Perfect. And then for the skirt, this is from Lioness. This is, I think, their Lola skirt. This is like a staple skirt for them. They have this in so many colors, but I thought that the color for this was perfect. I know that her skirt doesn't have a slit, but this one is very, very close as far as color, style, and the length goes. So we'll forgive the slit for this one. And then I actually do own Adidas All Stars. These were a Christmas gift from Trevor a few years ago, and mine are actually kid size. I don't know if hers are adult or kid size. I can only assume that they're adult because not everyone buys kid sizes. Like like I do. So for the bag, she clearly has a designer bag. The only designer bag that I have is a black Chanel and it wasn't going to work for this. So I grabbed this bag, which is a dupe designer bag. This one's a dupe for a Louis Vuitton. And I thought that this style just kind of like complemented the one that she has and was just like really the right look for recreating this outfit. Then she has on like a few different bracelets. I'm just going to do these two gold ones from my collection. I feel like this is probably good enough. Yep cute and then she does have her hair up in like a high half ponytail so I went ahead and did my hair like that and sorry the cat decided to run into the shot he's not part of this outfit and then I don't really have those like round 70s sunglasses they're just like not my style and I wasn't gonna buy a pair just for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and rock the aviators that I did yesterday. I feel like these are like the closest ones that I have. They're about a similar size in terms of the lens and I feel like shape wise, this is as close as we're gonna get with me. So this is the completed look. So cute, I really love this. I've been wanting to get more into wearing skirts lately. So this is definitely encouraging me to wear and style skirts a little bit more because this is definitely an outfit that I could see myself wearing for just like weekend errands when I wanna feel a little bit cuter than just going out in like shorts and a tank top or like an oversized t-shirt. This is definitely like a great little outfit to dress up like a casual weekend look. So I love this one. This is so cute. And I'm gonna head out now back to Trader Joe's to get a couple of things that I totally forgot to get yesterday. <laughs> okay, so happy hump day, you guys. It's Wednesday and it is incredibly hot today. I'm suffering. It's okay, I'll survive. Anyways, for today's outfit, I'm doing an extremely casual one from Sophia. I know that most of them have been casual, but this one is super super casual in this picture she's just running errands you know she's getting gas stars they're just like us she's pumping her own gas so on this one she has a pair of biker shorts a t-shirt some sneakers and a cute pair of sunglasses and a name necklace and a bangle so this one seems simple but like ironically it was surprisingly difficult to recreate because as it turns out I don't have any full length plain t-shirts so to recreate this look I'm just doing a plain black 
cropped crew neck tee, which is a little bit of a different vibe than hers because hers is full length, but we'll work with it. And then I have a puppy coming to me, hello. <laughs> Just the animals want to make an appearance in this video. Sorry guys. But anyways, I have on a pair of biker shorts. The colors are a little bit off on this. She has on what looks like either a navy or a dark gray tee and black biker shorts. And then I reversed it. I did a black tee and then like dark gray slash charcoal biker shorts. But then to complete this look, she is wearing what looks like a single bangle. So I have one on my arm right here. And then for shoes, I don't know what shoes these are exactly, but I feel like excuse me spark my nike pegasus sneakers are probably like the closest ones that i have to this so i don't want to step on your foot sorry so i think that these were like definitely the right choice to complete this look and then for the necklace i actually do have a name necklace i don't wear it that often it's a little bit tarnished but you know what it works for this so i'm gonna go ahead slip this one on and I think mine is a little bit shorter than hers but it's okay yeah it's a little bit shorter than hers but again pretty close and then for the sunglasses I don't have like these exact pair but the closest ones that I have to it are probably gonna be the Desi on red sunglasses the ones that she's wearing are a little bit rounder but they are like kind of that smaller lens so the Desi ones are definitely like as close as we're gonna get in my sunglasses collection so just pop that on and then I have my hair straight and here is the completed look I think that it's pretty close I mean it's not the exact same look but same kind of vibe same kind of like casual girl running errand situation Trevor and I are actually in the middle of cooking some ribs and then we're gonna go on a walk a little bit later so I just thought that this would be like the perfect outfit for a little evening stroll Okay guys, and it is now Thursday for today's Sophia Richie outfit. I am doing a very, very classic look. I mean, honestly, you can't get more basic than this, but still, you know, make it chic. I'm doing this look today, just a classic white tee and denim shorts. And honestly, I've been looking forward to doing this outfit for some reason so much this week. I saved it for a very special occasion because today I'm gonna go get some Dunkin' Donuts pumpkin spice donut holes you guys those are like my favorite i look forward to those every year i'm so excited so i'm about to head out and this is the outfit that i'm wearing for that also gonna run some errands i'm not just gonna go get donuts and coffee but also too that's like the main thing that we're doing so for this outfit her shorts are a little bit distressed so i'm wearing my forever 21 distressed denim shorts this is like my favorite pair these are actually really really old forever 21 doesn't even have these anymore but i will link some similar pairs for you guys down below and then she's got like this oversized like almost muscle tee kind of a shirt so the closest that I had to it was the white version of these like super super in style padded muscle tee slash muscle tank and luckily I do have one in white so I threw this one on and I tucked it into the front just like she has it for accessories I can only see one arm but I don't see any jewelry or anything like that on that arm so I'm gonna skip jewelry for right now for shoes she's just wearing a pair of classic like black Nike slides hi Pip and the cats in here again. I don't have Nike slides, but I do have these black slides. They're a little bit fancier than what she's got going on. They've got like this black quilting, but still like for the aesthetic and everything, they will work. So put those on. And then once again, she's wearing those very angular cat eye sunglasses. Again, I have those. The pair that I have is from Elastiva. So we can match that pretty closely. And then this is a recent 2020 picture, so she's being responsible. She's wearing a mask. I really love this mask. I wanna try to find this. I don't have it right now. It's just a black mask with a pair of red lips on it, and like, I'm obsessed. But like I said, I don't have anything like that. In fact, I don't even have a black mask. I do, however, have this blue mask. So we're gonna go ahead and go with this. So here you guys go. I'm gonna take this off because you guys can't hear me with it. But basically, here's the outfit. Super simple, quick, very, very classic. I mean, denim and a white tee, how can you go wrong? But I love this one. Very, very summer, casual, basic, but chic. And now I'm gonna go start fall stuff and go get myself some pumpkin spice donut holes. Okay, so now it's Friday, TGIF guys. Although when you guys are watching this, I think it's like a Sunday, so like not really TGIF, but close enough. So I'm about to head out to the post office to do something exciting getting a P.O. box. I've always wanted to get one for like PR and stuff. So I'm about to go do that and I dressed up in another Sophia Richie outfit. In this one she's at the beach which is much more exciting than going to the post office but you know what? 
it still works. So for this one, she has on this yellow tank dress, a necklace, a bangle, a pair of sunglasses, and then these white Hermes slides. And then she has her hair back in like a bun with like some loose pieces in the front. So for this one, I didn't have a yellow tank dress, but I did have this very, very like bright green, like lime, I mean, bordering yellow tank dress. So I mean, honestly, I pretty much had it. I don't have these Hermes slides, nor do I have like dupes of them. So the closest that I have are these. These are from Shein. They're just a pair of these like cross strap slides in this like nude beige color. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with these for this look. And then like I said, she has her hair back in a low ponytail, which I did. And then I took out some front tendrils to kind of match what she's got going on. Then like I said, she has a bangle. I'm gonna do this one today. This is like this gold cross one because I feel like it's a little bit more delicate. And the one that she's wearing in this does look a little bit more delicate. Then for her necklace, she has a silver cross necklace. I don't have a ton of silver jewelry. I'm gonna go with gold and I don't have a cross, but I do have this. This is the Boohoo Sovereign necklace. And I believe that it's a saint on this one. I can't remember, but figured that one would work here. So here's what it looks like. And then for sunglasses, again, she's wearing like this round pair of sunglasses, but they're kind of small. I don't have anything like that. So I'm gonna go back to the Desi on Reds. I feel like these will be the closest we can get for this vibe. But this like little cute casual outfit is all done, all set just for the post office. So I like this one, it's nice and summery. It's like, it's fun and it's kind of girly, which is definitely a vibe that I enjoy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, go get my P.O. Box, which does remind me, I will have the address of this P.O. Box in every single one of my video descriptions from here on out. So if you wanna send me things, go for it. You don't have to, that's not me asking you to, I'm just saying. It's open, it's down there. It's mainly for PR, but obviously if you guys wanna send me anything, you're welcome to as well. So I'm gonna go head out and get that set up and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow on Saturday for the final outfit. Okay guys, so it's Saturday night and it's time for my final Sophia Richie outfit that I'm recreating. Also, if you're wondering why the lighting looks so much better right now, it's cause I actually have my studio lights down here. I'm not gonna lie, it's been so hot this week, I was too lazy to drag them up and down the stairs every day, so I apologize about lighting in previous clips, but we've got good lighting for this clip. But Trevor and I are about to go out to dinner, so I'm recreating this look from Sophia Richie. Honestly, it looks like she's probably coming back from dinner or something, so I figured that this one would work. In this one, she's got this like black simple cami dress on, an oversized like brown cognac dumpling bag, a pair of sock booties, some gold hoops, and a pair of sunglasses. So for this one, I mean, I have a black dress. Every girl needs just like a simple black LBD in her closet. So this one is mine. I feel like mine's a little bit dressier than hers. Hers looks to be a little bit more of like a jersey slouchy material. This one's a little bit of a nicer kind of like woven fabric, but it's still, you know, the same kind of look. For the shoes, I don't have this like exact type of sock booty. The sock booties that I have are these. These are kind of like a snakeskin sock booty. So they're just like not as slouchy. They're a little bit more structured, but still for like this look, I think that this definitely works. For the accessories, I have a pair of gold hoops right here. These are the same gold hoops that I had worn for the first outfit. So, so I'll go ahead and throw these back on. Perfect. And then for the sunnies, she's got these like, really like wide, super sporty black sunglasses. I don't have anything like that, but I feel like the closest vibe that we're gonna get are these. These are actually a pair that Kourtney Kardashian owns. I got these cause I saw her wearing these and I love them. They're from YSL, but I feel like they've got the edge that those other sunglasses have going on. So we will go with it, which is ironic. I'm wearing a pair of Kourtney Kardashian sunglasses considering Sophia and Scott just broke up in the middle of the week that I'm filming this video and there's rumors that he's back together with Courtney, but we'll move on. <laughs> and then for the bag, this was actually kind of like a tough decision. So I had a choice between going with an oversized dumpling bag in black or this cognac one that matches her color, but it's slightly smaller. I decided to go with the smaller one. So here is the completed outfit. Definitely like a good dinner look. Something just like kind of simple, but trendy. You still look very chic, very put together. I love adding a clutch. I feel like it just always elevates an outfit. And honestly, you can just like never go wrong with a classic LED. 
Okay, you guys, so those were all of the outfits that I wore this week inspired by Sophia Richie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know who else's outfits you guys would like me to recreate. And of course, give this video a thumbs up. Like I said, I really, really enjoyed making this video, especially right now in quarantine because it kind of forced me to get dressed up a little bit more a few of the days. Even though the outfits were casual, they were still a little bit dressier than how I've been dressing for quarantine, which has basically been a rotation of oversized t-shirt after oversized t-shirt. So it was nice to break me out of that little rut and make me actually style myself daily and really think about my outfits. So like I said, I do plan on doing more of these videos. So again, please subscribe if you aren't already. I would love it if you would stick around. But thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next one. Bye.